Swedish definition, dermoscopy or dermatoscopy, which is probably the more textbook definition of it, actually refers to examination of skin surface using microscopy. As we said, principally, we're talking about evaluating pigmented lesions, but nonetheless, it is very useful to try and differentiate between um, seborrheic keratoses, different types of basal cell carcinoma, or indeed melanoma. But what that means in terms of the actual device itself, generically, we're looking at a device that's got a very high quality lens, 10 to 14 times magnification with an LED light system. It needs to be a very high quality and a very bright lighting system so we can actually look beyond the clinical picture because we can clinically obviously appreciate the number of characteristics, certainly with something that's dysplastic, but we need to actually see what's going on subservice in terms of these unique patterns and structures. So in terms of dermoscopy, historically, um, many devices that we use and certainly the first device that I started with which is much more basic than this DL4 light. This actually had um, a type of fluid immersion that you need to put on the skin which was a contact um, type of device. Now the type of magnification and the visualization for that is very very useful. The only slight problem that I found with that is that if you're looking at more vascular um, skin lesions, pyogenic granuloma for example, you can inadvertently compress a lot of vascular structures. So for something like a superficial BCC, where arborizing vessels play quite a key part, that can be quite compromising and you could miss something potentially that's quite important. But we do know in the right hands, with good demoscopy recognition and certainly a high quality device, it is a very useful diagnostic aid. I'm not saying for a minute that it should ever negate the need for clinical referral, um, specialist input or indeed excision or histology, but it's a very, very useful aid for clinical diagnosis. So for those of us that are accustomed to treating skin and looking at lesions, clinically that image on the right wouldn't necessarily warrant any concern. Why? Well, it's quite clearly quite symmetrical. There's not a huge number of different colour variants in that. The background, um, the background sun damage is a slight concern with this actinic damage around here. So that would immediately, in my mind, be thinking this is somebody that's had a degree of sun exposure. It's a fairer skin. So again, in this situation, it's useful to have the addition of dermoscopy because immediately looking at that image tells me what I've already seen, in essence, clinically, just firsthand from looking at that lesion. It's got some features on it that I really, really like and actually work very, very well in my practice. Firstly, within the box, you have a magnetic eyepiece here which is nice, okay. Incidentally, this magnetic eyepiece also allows you to, with the addition of an extra cover for your phone or your iPad or your tablet, it does also allow you to actually visualize and take images and capture images through your phone, which I think is a fantastic addition to have. For me, it just means that I can store all my photos in one place and I've always got them there and they're accessible and they come to a very, very high quality. So that's a very, very nice addition. More than that, again, coming back to the idea of looking at pigmented lesions, we've got two different types of high quality LEDs. These are exceptionally bright. We've got polarized and a non-polarized setting here, which you should be able to see here. And we've also got, for those of us that are particularly interested in looking at pigmented lesions, we've also got a pigment boost, which is a trademark setting for this device, which means that you can, in essence, look at things like that solar lentigo in much more detail. And what I found in my practice is that when I've compared images, pigmented images that I've had, even of benign lesions, with just standard dermoscopy compared to this, I can really appreciate the clarity and the detail in the pigmentation of the um, actual lesion in much greater detail. So this is a really, really nice, unique add-on that I've not actually come across previously. I was always forever having to clean it between each patient, always having to think about that. You also have some disposable ice cap covers, or what we call ice cap covers, which have just been designed to actually just literally just clip on to the device. So you negate the need. Now, if you are using contact dermoscopy, you negate the need to have to clean this after every patient. Battery life on it's fantastic. If you're ever in any doubt, a small four bar system just on the front of the device here as well. And you do also have a USB, which is compatible to running off from your computer if you need to charge it. But as I say, battery life on them is fantastic. You also have the addition as well of a little holster to put that into if you wish. 
I can't rate this piece of equipment high enough. This is the nicest demoscopy that I've ever used.